Hello, I'm the Nostalgia Critic. I remember it so you don't have to. Teenage Mutant fucking Ninja Turtles. This is the shit. When we were growing up, Ninja Turtles were everywhere. Comic books, TV shows, breakfast cereals. They even had a pie named after them. It tasted like splooge, but we didn't care. As long as it had the Ninja Turtles on it, we were happy. So when we heard they were actually making a live action movie based on this phenomenon, we proudly pissed our pants with joy. We shit ourselves with excitement. We vomited up vast amounts of excrement, shit on it, rolled around in it, put it back in our mouths, and proceeded to vomit it up again in roaring anticipation. Okay, maybe only I did that. But still, bottom line, we were hyped as hell. These movies kicked ass back then, and I'm sure they're gonna kick ass now. Which is to say I haven't actually seen these movies in years, but that's why, as a special treat, I'm gonna sit down and review the movies with you as you're watching it with me. So, grab your vintage Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle box of cookies and enjoy the show. Just watch the movie. Alright, New York. So far, so good. Actually, I like this opening because it doesn't even look like a Ninja Turtles movie. This could be the opening to Shaft. Watch! Who's a black private dick that's a sex machine to all the chicks? Shaft! You see? April O'Neil, Channel 3. Whoa, 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 whoa. Who is that? April O'Neil. No, 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 no. Listen, lady, I'm sure you're a fine actress and everything, but, uh, <laughs> you're not April O'Neil. No, no. This hot honey you see here is April O'Neil. Yellow jumpsuit, nice legs. Damn, she's fine. So come on, where's the real April O'Neil? Come on, cough her up. Just what is going on out there, April? Okay. All right, no, no, that's cool, that's cool, you know, no problem. I mean, at least we still get to see her in the yellow jumpsuit, right? Oh, come on! That's not a jumpsuit, that's a raincoat! There is a difference, there is a difference! Look, you watching? I'll show you the difference. Here, watch close. Jumpsuit, raincoat. 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 All I gotta say is the turtles had better be a hell of a lot better. Yes. Excuse me one moment. Oh my god, look at those costumes! Those are incredible! That's exactly what radioactive ninjutsu reptiles in their late teens would look like! I mean, they're unbelievable! I mean, they're phenomenal! I mean, oh my god! I apologize for that, but even you have to admit those costumes are pretty incredible. The guy who put these all together was Jim Henson, the Muppet guy. And do you know how much those puppeteers have to squat in order to get their hands up those asses? It's not even worth thinking about. If this movie was done today, chances are they probably turned them all into computer-generated images. Oh, bullshit! They set out to rescue April from the evil Foot Clan, who want to destroy her because she's giving evil pajama-wearing psychopaths a bad name. <laughs> oh no, you did! Alright, April's gonna kick some ass! As you probably guessed, the turtles save April and take her back to their home in the sewers. There she meets the Ninja Turtles mentor, a giant rat named Splinter. And I have to admit, saying this all out loud is making me realize just how friggin' weird this movie is. Where did they come up with this stuff? So Splinter explains to April the origin of where they came from. You see, years ago, Splinter was just an ordinary pet rat in Japan. After his master is murdered, Splinter somehow makes it to New York and comes across a canister of ooze and four baby turtles. Within a day, both the turtles and Splinter grow in size and even begin to form words. Pizza! Pizza! It could happen! Splinter decides to name them after the famous Renaissance painters, because giant mutated turtles seem the scream of the Renaissance period. It made sense back then. Wondering how much acid she dropped, April decides to help them defeat the foot and bring order to the city. And on their way, they're helped by a vigilante known as Casey Jones, who's pretty cool despite the fact that he looks like Jason's homosexual Canadian brother. Ooh. Now the leader of the Foot Clan is an evil kitchen utensil known as the Shredder which everyone says is a giant Darth Vader ripoff, but I don't see the resemblance. I am your father. Okay, it's a ripoff. But you gotta give this guy credit. He has a diabolical scheme to... Actually, what was the plan again? Punish these turtles. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I don't care how menacing or powerful you are. Uh, <laughs> there's no way you can make punishing turtles sound threatening. I I'm sorry, it's just not humanly possible. But, you see, he is using kids and teenagers to fight his battles. If you went up to a hitman and said you wanted them to hunt down some turtles, they'd probably laugh in your face. However, if you get a bunch of stupid kids, stone them off their asses, get dressed up in shiny metal, recruit them to be ninjas, and then ask them to hunt down some turtles? Dude, sign me up! Awesome! 
My only problem with this plane is the costumes they're assigned. I mean, I know they're supposed to be ninjas and everything, but those costumes are so tight, I don't even think they can talk. <laughs> One of the things I love about this movie is the turtle's disguises, which is pretty much just a trench coat and a fedora hat. How can nobody recognize them in that? I mean, how stupid do people have to be to not recognize a big turtle in a trench coat? Look like sort of a big turtle in a trench coat. The movie comes to a thrilling climax at the top of a tall building, where the Shredder challenges our heroes to a man-on-turtle brawl. And of course, being the Ninja Turtles, they get their green asses handed to them. What point? Did we lose control here? But all that changes when Splinter comes into the picture. It's Sensei versus Sensei, Giant Rat versus Giant Cheese Grater. The battle of all battles begins. Here it goes. This is gonna be good. Here it comes. Bullshit! What kind of a battle is that? He sticks out his foot like a cartoon character and he trips? What a ripoff! 